Hi guys, I'm Vlad Jaworski. We continue our series. Today we are talking about the beryl family, emerald, aquamarine, morganite, heliodor, and red beryl. Chemical composition of beryl, beryllium, aluminium, silicate. Emerald and aquamarine very famous for mineral collectors for hexagonal shape. Beryl is double reflective and distinct Crazy. The refractive index of beryl is 1.6, only so speaking, it's not that high, so the luster is not so great compared with the rest of the gemstones. Beryl hardness is 7.5, it's very good suitable for jewelry, though emerald requires special care. Guys, here we have a gemological twigs, 2 carat emerald, beautiful gemstone, natural, and six carat blue sapphire, which I'm wearing every day. And look, they all look the same. And the difference is specific gravity. Emerald have a very low specific gravity. Therefore, it looks big. Sapphire have a very high gravity. So it looks very small. Generally, beryl is not that rare, and we can find family gemstones like aquamarine, emerald, morganite pretty much on every single continent. So you can see the map of the world, and they occur everywhere. So basically, in geological part of view, they come in from metamorphic rock, they come in from pegmatite, from granite rock, and they come in from hydrothermal veins. The most valued emeralds come from Colombia, Russia, Afghanistan, Brazil. Aquamarine can be very, very beautiful, from very intense ocean blue to very pastel sky blue. Originally, the top quality aquamarine was coming from Ural Mountains, from Brazil, from Madagascar, Mozambique, Tanzania, Pakistan, and in, from India, red color for beryl is not only unique for the beryl family itself, it's unique for the whole gemstone family. Probably it's one of the rarest gemstone, real true gemstone on the planet. It's found only one place on our planet in Utah, United States from volcanic rock. Let's talk about the prices guys and rarity of beryls because beryl have a very huge family actually. We start with emerald and emerald one of the most expensive gemstone on our planet and recently we heard the price for the emerald up to 300,000 US dollar per carat. Next stone it's a red beryl which is super unique but unfortunately it's not commercially available because there is it's not exist over one carat generally. Therefore, the price can reach $50,000 per carat, but it's not there yet. Next stone is a morganite. I saw a morganite, intense, vivid, super neon pink color, and it can reach up to $10,000 per carat. Next one is aquamarine. Santa Maria aquamarine, famous mine, can reach $3,000 per carat. Green barrels are fantastic. They have a vanadium, they're beautiful, they're slightly yellowish, they can be bluish, but they hardly reach $1,000 per carat. Of course, there is another in the barrel family. It's called Goshenite. It's a white barrel which has price less than $100 per carat. The great queen Cleopatra loved emerald so much. So the main and the most historical mine of emerald in Egypt, in ancient Egypt, was called her name, Cleopatra Mine.